Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing another Valentine's DIY. Normally I would put these in one video, the Valentine cram craft that we did in last week's video, um, and then this is going to be a Valentine card box video. I normally would have done them in the same one since they're both related to Valentine's Day, but we didn't know we needed a Valentine's Day card box until yesterday. So just in case you guys are in the same situation, um, we're going to post this and show you what we did um, and how we got a quick, cute DIY Valentine's Day craft, Valentine's Day box craft that is going to be perfect for any classroom competition. So showing you what we have, a pink balloon, just an ordinary balloon, and it doesn't have to be pink, we're, we're kind of sticking with the pink and red and white theme um, for, and it's Valentine's Day, but if you have a little boy and you want to do this, um, this is eventually going to look like a hot air balloon, that's the goal anyway, so you could totally do this with, um, I saw some cute, you could do just like a, a regular wooden kind of weave basket, um, and maybe do some camel colors would be super cute. Um, but you could totally make this for a girl or a boy. We are using a pink balloon. I got some heart-shaped doilies because my Hobby Lobby did not have any of the circle ones. So we're just going to cut these um, so that we have just the kind of ruffly part on the bottom. And I'll show you how we'll use those here in just a minute. Um, if you're doing a different color scheme, don't worry about... Um, if you can't find color doilies, I do know the dollar store often carries the regular round ones um, in uh, many different colors. Of course, mine didn't have any um, when we needed them. So we're using white. Um, if you're doing a different color scheme than we are, feel free to get the white and use um, paints or markers um, to color the doily to match whatever color scheme you're using. Uh, we have some paper straws. We picked the red with white hearts and then we have some washi tape and this is just a red washi tape that's got um, some kind of like yellow and blue, um, almost like a plaid kind of design on it. And then this basket um, is, we picked this up at Hobby Lobby. Um, it's not super big but big enough to hold, you know, 32 valentines, probably a lot of candy. Um, I think it should be about the right size, um, but you don't want to send them to school with a great big giant basket, even though it could be what they end up eating, right? Um, so, but I figured um, when we used to do boxes back, way back when I was in school, it was like tissue boxes or shoe boxes. I figured this was pretty close to that same size um, and would still be kind of proportionate um, to the balloon so that our project will still look cute. So, okay, to get started, we are going to, we're gonna use our hot glue gun. Now, parents, if you are doing this with your kids, you should be doing the hot glue gun, um, not, not your kids, like just to keep everyone safe. The hot glue gun does get really hot and we don't want anyone getting burnt. So we're gonna open up our straws and we need four of them. These are going to be the the, I don't know, on a real hot air balloon, are they ropes or whatever it is that connects the balloon to the basket? We're going to hot glue these straws to the corners of the basket on a little bit of an angle so they come in because the balloon is going to come up here um, and we want them to attach like so, like so. Yes? Okay, so hot glue gun. Mandy, I'm going to switch seats with you. So let's see, where do we want to put our first one? Right. What about? How are we going to put the balloon? Yeah. Oh, I'll show you how we attach it. We don't use the hot glue, hot glue gun on the balloon. Because then it will pop. That would not work out so well. Yeah, I think it's going to be super cute. <clears throat> Wait, are the doilies going to go on the balloon? Can the I doilies can... will go on the balloon. Okay, why can't okay we... you can let go. Why can't we just put on um, like a heart? Um, because so the hot air balloon kind of has a shape that's not 
exactly like a balloon, right? It kind of comes down straight. So we're going to use the doilies to make that, um, that shape. Cool. Okay, I'm just going to hold these here for just a few seconds. Make sure they're drying good. Can I open up the doilies? Yeah, go ahead and open up the doilies. Seconds. You want to use the doilies as napkins? Sure. We can use them for whatever you would like. I don't know if they'll make real great napkins, but let me get the balloon attached here. But if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can just take one. Um, if you don't have a hot glue gun, you can probably use some kind of tape to make these straws stick to the basket. Um, a hot glue gun, I mean, you can find them pretty cheap. I honestly think I found mine for like five dollars um, at Michael's, and I saw some just recently at Hobby Lobby too. So, uh, but if you don't have one, I think you could use um, some I, kind of like strong tape. What it can I like? Um, just kind of get this balloon in place so we can see what we're doing here. I thought we were using the washi tape. We're gonna use the washi tape. I just want to hold the straws in place for us. Is there a substitute that? You, what if you can't find any heart doilies? Well, you don't need heart doilies. I was actually looking for um, the regular round doilies, um, but you could use just construction paper or whatever you wanted to put around the bottom of the balloon to give it that kind of hot air balloon shape. I love it when we do these products because we all, we all get like leftover stuff. <laughs> oh yeah? Mm -hmm. Alright, so it's cute. not super perfect, but you know, mm -hmm. it'll work. Okay, a little hot glue string there. Okay, so for the doilies, I actually want a straight edge. Um, so if you're using the circle ones, you would cut just cut them in half. Um, but since we're using the heart ones, I'm just kind of I'm gonna go ahead and fold it down the yeah, just kind of put the point of the heart in the middle um, so that we get. I want this part to go around the bottom here. So go ahead and cut on the line you just folded. Got a little stray piece there. So we're these are going to go around the bottom, like so. And we're going to put it on with the washi tape. Um, so if you want to get a piece of washi tape, and we're going to do the whole length of. The, let me cut off that little piece. So I'm just going to put some of the washi tape across the line that we cut on the doily. Can you cut it? Sure, go ahead. So when you have your, your piece of the doily with the washi tape on top, find where you want to kind of create that shape. I want to get right kind of where the balloon starts to curve in towards the bottom here. So we're just going to stick the washi tape right to the balloon. Like this? Or do you do this one here? Then no, we're not going to use the end. Just the parts with the little ruffle. So, do you need... Okay, put it on just like that. We got one more. And we're just going to put that right mm -hmm. along next to it. And then once we get them all on, we can, if there's any like gaps, like you see we have a little gap in the washi tape right there, we can go through and just um, cut.
cover that with a little more washi tape. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, it's it's gonna be cute no matter what, but I mean, yeah. to doilies too. I did. You want to put some tape on this one for me? Yeah. Um, we should be able to finish this with just one and then we can fill in our little spaces with our with our uh, washi tape. Yeah, on her desk and her friends will just drop their their valentines in her box and it's it's something a little bit different than I think what most people would think of when it comes to the Valentine's Day box. Um, so it might give her a little bit of an edge uh, when it comes to that that competition, right? Yeah. What do you think? I like it. Do you like it? I'm just going to go around one more time with the washi tape just right over that um, layer that we just did. I'm going to make it just a little bit more secure and covering up those gaps. Um, that we might have. Day card box. Perfect for any Valentine's Day party. So it was super easy, pretty quick, um, and it doesn't take a whole lot of materials. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you find it useful and I would love to see if you guys try this out. Um, send me some big pictures on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Um, I would love to see um, how yours turned out. That's it. We will see you next week. Bye. Bye.